Which lane? 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 Well, good morning, adventurers! Uh, <laughs> well, our, our super adventure show, which has been a raging success, well, I think it has anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's been fun to make. That, that's how I gauge a raging success. Uh, and not like... Load. <laughs> Bull shit. You know, I really love the S20, but it it has some flaws. And the first one I had got wet uh, and just would no longer turn on. Uh, I had it replaced, and now this one, I, I charge this. I leave it. I leave it plugged into the charger and it just lasted like 10 minutes and it's just turned itself off <laughs> and it did this to me before and i thought uh did i have it did i have it plugged in properly was it charged i'm not sure but now it's just been confirmed come on center that's i mean two one that i mean there's supposedly you know water resistant so well, one, I just had a faulty seal, and then the next one, I got a dodgy battery. Come on, that's 100%... 100% shit rate. Anyway. <laughs> no! Oh, that's alright. <laughs> Prepare to stop. What, what is that? Hey, it's... It's 10 o'clock! Surely this is not still required. But they do change for me. And uh, on my theory, as long as I'm through the light first, then one of those other cars is the one breaking the law. <laughs> Oh, so in other news, uh, some some time ago, we were at Little Desert, and I put a log in the fire, and a ranger came up to us and uh, said, Hey mate, that log's more than one metre long. It was, and it was, it was, it was two metres long, but all the signage at the park said, Your campfire shall not be more than one square metre in area. So uh, a little bit of maths tells anyone that a two metre long log times 20 centimetres wide is a lot less than a square metre. So I argued that point uh, so I'm, and I suggest that uh, Parks Victoria change their signage to say you can't put a piece of wood more than one metre long in the fire if that's what they're going to find people for because that's not what the signage says so anyway i got the fine i sent back a no you made this is in error here is my case uh had photos of the signs on the site and everything and um they sent me back a letter saying well we've reviewed your case and tough tough shit uh, you need to pay it. I'm like, bullshit. Okay, oh, let's let's go to court. So I sent them back the form saying I'm willing to take this to court. I'm not willing. I apply to take this to, to court. And about two weeks later, it took them three months to reply to my uh, my previous one. But yeah, about two weeks later, after applying to court, I get a letter back saying. Uh, in this particular case, we've decided to withdraw the matter and uh, just leave you with an official warning. <laughs> yeah, and now you're just hoping you can stooge the next poor bastard to pay $440 for doing something that they, uh, that they can't possibly be expected to believe is a law. So, anyway... 
and that is uh, almost over for me. I just got to write this letter. What a load of shit. Politics. I tell you, it's like, oh, not politics. It's money making. Money making. Uh, it's like a bloody pyramid scheme. Encourage poor bastard to do something. Take money off poor bastard. You know? Ridiculous. So anyhow, only one interesting thing has happened uh, in my videos in the last, you know, month of writing videos. And, uh, sorry, just concentrating when someone indicates. And it was, uh, I'm writing along on this thing and it goes, bleh, dies. So you'll see, I worked out what the problem was, but... It's funny that I just instantly, there was so much, you know, people bagging, oh, KTMs, they always break down, unreliable, blah, 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 which I think is a thing of the past. KTM's game is completely different these days. Uh, they're really producing quality in my eyes, and, uh, and in the eyes of a lot of modern day KTM owners. Uh, sorry, stop getting distracted. Um, <laughs> They, uh, yeah, so I, I believed some of this hype straight away when the motor died. I went, oh my god, I've got some major electrical flaw and I'm going to have to push this thing the last six kilometers home. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, that'll do me for today. Uh, uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get off, off road, get some more action happening uh, soon and... In the meantime, enjoy this uh, bit of footage of me panicking that my bike was dead. See ya! What a magnificent day here in Melbourne. What happened? My bike just died. Well, that... Oh! Why did my bike just die? Well, there you go. See, KTM. I wouldn't, uh... Hmm. Okay, now what do I do? I'm not out of petrol. I'm sure I'm not out of petrol. Let's open this. I didn't hear any hiss. Okay, when something like this happens to your bike, I guess a couple of things. One, have you got petrol? Oh, and look at that. <laughs> guess what? Uh, when I did the tank the other day, uh, I took some, took some stuff off and I... Uh, put it all back together and I opened this tap here which is the um, balancer between this low side of the tank and this low side of the tank I opened that tap but I didn't open this tap so I will bet you that will now be fine the only thing I don't like about what just happened then is that the, uh, the fuel pump will have just been bzzz, trying to suck nothing and fuel pumps are a bit of a known problem on some KTMs. <laughs> well there you go. Usually fuel or spark. Only two things that really can go wrong.